These are answers from the 10.1 to 10.4 review for honors geometry, and this will be problem number three. We have two parallel cords that are 16 centimeters and 30 centimeters long that are 23 centimeters apart. So here are the two parallel cords, and we can draw in this segment that represents the perpendicular distance for both of them, and this is going to be one straight segment since those two parallel segments are perpendicular to the same line, and since this would be part of a diameter, it means that we are also bisecting those segments. So this green length is 8, and this blue length over here is 15. If we draw in this segment, it represents the radius, and if we draw in this segment as well, it's the radius also. It's in the same circle, so those two segments are equal to each other. I'm going to insert a variable of x, and since these two centimeter or two cords are 23 centimeters apart, means this length is 23 minus x. And I have two different triangles that I can use Pythagorean theorem on. Doing the one on the left, it's 8 squared plus the quantity 23 minus x squared is equal to r squared. And for the triangle on the right, x squared plus 15 squared is equal to r squared. r squared equals r squared, so by a transitive then we can set this expression equal to that expression. 64 plus 529 minus 46x plus x squared, because that's what we get when we square out the quantity 23 minus x. That's equal to x squared plus 225. Subtract x squared from both sides, and combine like terms, move like terms to the same side, so negative 46x equals negative 368, x equals 8. And since x equals 8, we can then plug that in to this equation, or the other equation, 8 squared plus 15 squared equals r squared, r equals 17. This is problem number 9, and here's the setup for that problem. Since chord CD and chord BA are both three units away from the center of the circle, that means that BA is equal to CD. The length of CD is 15 minus x. The length of BA is not just 3x minus 17, but since this radius, which is part of our diameter, is perpendicular to that chord. It also bisects it. So the entire length of the segment is going to be 6x minus 34. This is a linear equation, so we'll move the x to one side and the variables to the other. 7x is equal to 49, so x equals 7. And if x equals 7, then we know we can plug that in over here, and the length of AB is going to be equal to 8 units. And to go further then, we'll draw in that segment. This length is 3, BG was equal to 4, 3, 4, 5, it's a 3, 4, 5 right triangle, so the radius of the circle is 5 units. Here's problem number 11, it says a triangle is inscribed in a semicircle. Now the semicircle is only this part, the semicircle doesn't include the diameter, so if I have a semicircle that, or a triangle that's inscribed in the semicircle, the third vertex would have to be somewhere on that turquoise part, maybe like right there. Then if I draw in those two other sides, here is my inscribed triangle. One of the angles is 50 degrees, and since this triangle is inscribed inside of a semicircle, that means that this is half of 180 or 90 degrees. 50 and 40 are complementary, so the other two angles are 40 degrees and 90 degrees, but this is what it means to inscribe a triangle inside of a semicircle. This is problem number 12. We have an equilateral triangle that is inscribed in a circle. So here is our equilateral triangle. This angle is 60 degrees. The question is, what is the measure of the arc that one of the angles intercepts? So what we're talking about is taking this turquoise angle, and we're intercepting this arc angle over here. And since 60 is an inscribed angle, we double that to get that the measure of that arc angle then is 120 degrees. This is problem number 13. We have a square inscribed inside of a circle. Each side of this square is equal to 6. This also creates a 45, 45, 90 triangle, which means that this length, the diagonal of the square, is going to be equal to 6 root 2. That also represents the diameter of the circle. So the circumference is equal to pi times the diameter of 6 root 2. So the exact answer would be 6 root 2 times pi. And if you calculate that, that's about 26.66 inches. This is problem number 18. Two circles are 24 centimeters 
apart from their centers. The centers of the circle drew that wrong. The chord is 24 centimeters, so when they intersect each other, they're both 12 centimeters long. The centers are 21 centimeters apart, so this length is 21. And the radius of one of the circles is 13 centimeters. So if I draw in that segment, it creates a right triangle. And this is a Pythagorean triple, 5, 12, 13. So this length is going to be equal to 5, which means that there's 16 centimeters left for that length. And then it gives us another triangle when we draw in this radius. So in this other right triangle, we have lengths of 12, 16. And this is a variation of a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. 12 squared plus 16 squared equals 20 squared. So the radius of this other circle is 20 centimeters. And this is problem number 19. We're going to start off by drawing in a radius that is perpendicular to chord RQ. Since it's perpendicular, it also bisects that chord, which means that since even though this entire length was 10, we have the small section of it that's equal to 5. And I also have created a right triangle. I'll highlight that triangle here in green. In that triangle, what we know is the hypotenuse is 15. We know that the length going from this point to point P is 4 plus 5, or 9. And when we use Pythagorean theorem on that, we get that this length is equal to 12. The distance from O to that um, chord is equal to 12 units. The reason why that's going to be helpful is because now when we draw in this segment, segment OQ, we have another right triangle. What we know about that triangle is that this length is 12 because we just found that a second ago. We know that this length is equal to 5 because we already had that from before. So when you use Pythagorean theorem, this length comes out to 13. OQ is equal to 13 units. The other thing we're asked to find is PS. And the entire length of PO is 15. The radius of the circle is 13, so it means that this length must also be equal to 13. So the length of PS is 2 units. It's definitely not drawn to scale, but according to the numbers we have, that is the length of that segment.